quick big fella before work. Just an easy run this morning. It was uh, 11 k's, about 350 meters of vert. Catch you later on. So I decided not to go to Adelaide for the race this weekend. It was just going to be too tiring with the travel and stuff. And I pulled up feeling pretty buggered, to be honest, after the hill reps the other day. So smashing myself on a 25k race probably wasn't going to be that smart. But yeah, I just got home. I'm just uh, going to go have a shower and have some tea and probably just get some rest, ready for a big weekend of training. And I've got to transfer my UTA entry because I've finally sold it. Uh, the race director from down under 135 bought it, so that's pretty cool. Good luck, Tom. All the best with it, mate. That's what I have for breakfast every single morning. Peanut butter and jam on toast and a black coffee. It's 10 to 5, Saturday morning. I've got to work this morning, or most of today, so I'm going to have to run the Sabo. Not that I don't like running in the afternoon, it's just so much better in the morning. It starts the day right, you feel good. Plus a lot of routine, so... The yeah, afternoon throws me all out of whack. Finally time to run. Definitely all out of whack. Feel terrible. I don't feel like going out. But it's Saturday, so it's a long run day. I'm going to try and get it in, but if I get out and feel like crap, I'm just going to... I'll cut it short and do it tomorrow. <laughs> way too tired to do this long run so just gonna head out for a shorter one not gonna film this one I'm just gonna get it done so before after felt real good once I got out did 12 and a half k's it's first run I haven't filmed in like a month it's been fun I'm gonna keep doing it it just takes a lot of time so this vlog and my training that you know I treat it as two different things so I film pretty much everything for it after I've done my actual run so it doesn't get in the way of my actual training but the funnest thing about it is you're making a video about the exact same thing all the time. So you find new ways to be creative, try and make it better and learn new techniques and stuff. I think that's why making a vlog is like the best way that you can get better at making videos. And you're doing it consistently all the time. So do anything consistently, eventually you get better at it. Time for a burrito. <laughs> Saturday night, it's 10 to 8, I'm watching No Country for Old Men, which I've seen, seen it a lot of times, but since I've been making these videos, I've watched movies from like a completely different perspective, so I'd say it's probably Reservoir Dogs is my favourite movie, but it'd be, be second, I reckon. So I'm going to stick that on, I'll probably fall asleep in like 10 minutes to be honest, but... Hopefully this part of the video hasn't just sucked. I don't know. Don't know how it's gonna turn out because I didn't film my run. So it's just, yeah. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, catch you tomorrow. Been at work again this morning since like early this morning. Still not finished. <laughs> Definitely underestimated how much stuff I gotta get done. Plan was for a five hour long run, that's just unrealistic this weekend, it's not going to happen, so I'm going to head out on the road, I'm thinking I can get a significant amount of k's in in a lot less time than if I was on the trail, but yeah, if I can't follow my training plan like to the letter, I don't, I don't stress about it, the main thing is just train consistently and make sure I'm feeling good, not getting too tired. I've sort of overtrained before and got a bit burnt out and it just sucks. It takes ages to recover from, so I'm just I'm trying to avoid that. And I've never really done a long run on the road, so something different at least. Perfect weather outside for running, nice and cool. Alright, let's go. <laughs>
So I finished that one just like I was lightheaded and just totally crushed me. But I did 15Ks at 4.07 pace, so pretty steady. And then I did 5 at 4.30 to, to cool down. So let me... I'll show you the splits. So not too bad there, nice and consistent. I felt like pretty good on the run, but I was just finished feeling smashed. Uh, quick weekly recap, 76.3Ks, 6 hours and 33 minutes, and 2,365 metres of climb. Bit of a mixed up week, it was sort of all over the place. I just fit everything in as best I could around what was going on. Still got in 76Ks, like if I can get in 80, around 80, a bit more preferably uh, a week I'm happy with that as long as I can do that consistently and get some quality workouts in and get a good long run in which I sort of didn't do this week it wasn't that it wasn't good but it was just it's unspecific for the race I'm training for so but if I can do that consistently um, I know I can get results I'm satisfied in a race off that amount of training so anyway that's it for this video uh, thanks for watching see you later bye